Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question implement Q using stacks. Okay, so first of all, let's implement the simple functions. So description said implement first in, first out Q using only two stacks. So that's why first of all, initialize two stacks. So one is, uh, let's say, input and uh, initialize with array and self.output and also initialize with array. So input manages um, input numbers and output manages output number very simple right and then let's implement a push so this is very easy just self dot input dot append and x and that's it and uh, let's implement the empty so this is also uh, very simple just return not self dot input and uh, not self dot output that's it and uh, let me explain a uh, peak function. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So input already had one, two, three, so push three times. And uh, I said, uh, let me explain uh, like a peak function, but uh, actually let me explain pop and peak function. And uh, so in pop function, so pop function removes uh, the element from the front of Q and return it. And the peak function returns element at the front of Q. So in both, um, operation so we should return one at first right and uh, in peak function so we can access um, index zero very easy right just input zero but uh, how about pop um, we should remove this one and then return it so in that case all data move forward right so it's gonna be time consuming so that's why uh, we need to output uh, stack so how can we do that uh, so it's very simple. When we uh, uh, call peak operation, so just um, uh, pop a uh, number from input one by one and then append uh, the numbers to output. So in that case, uh, first of all, we pop three and uh, append three to output. And the next, we pop two and uh, append um, two to output and uh, pop one and append one to output so now we have three two one right so that's why um if we pick the first number one so just return output minus one and we can access last index right and uh, if we pop the one so in the case just output dot pop and so that we can pop this one and uh, return one right and after that, if we pop again, so we can uh, access uh, last index uh, very easily, right? Just minus one. So even peak. So that's why uh, we can pop two from output and then return it. Very simple, right? And uh, there is a one important point. So if you want to put all numbers into output, actually there is a condition. So it's very simple. If output is empty, so in the case, we can put all numbers into output. Why? So let me explain that. So now output has three. So after that, so input stack get like four and five. So in the case, the next number we should pick and we should pop is three, right? And uh, uh, what if we don't have uh, empty check? So let's see what happened. Okay, so let's call pop. And in the case, we should remove this three and uh, return three, right? But uh, if we don't have this empty check, so this four and five are going to uh, output. So in the case, five, four, right? So in the case, uh, we can't uh, remove three. So in the case, uh, we will remove four, right? And uh, return four. That is the wrong answer. So that's why uh, this empty check is very important so if we don't meet this condition so now output has three right so in the case um, we don't add these numbers to output so that's why we can um, remove three and uh, return three looks good and uh, now output stack is empty so that's why let's say uh, we call pop again so in the case these numbers are going to out output. So in the case five and four, right? 
And then uh, we can uh, remove 4 and uh, return 4. And now 5, we have only 5 in output. And if we pick um, the next number, so we can pick 5. And if we, can, uh, if we want to pop, uh, we can remove 5 and uh, return 5. Looks good. OK, so let's implement peak function. So as I told you, if not self dot output. So in that case, um, while self dot input, so input has numbers. So in that case, self dot output dot append and self dot input dot pop. And then return last value. So self dot output and minus one. Easy, right? Okay, so let's implement pop. So pop is easy. So we want to do the same logic like this, but uh, actually just we can call self dot um, peak and then return um, self dot output dot pop. So why uh, can we call peak from pop? So that's because of course we want to do the same logic and uh, peak just return the last number, right? So output will not be changed, right? So that's why we can call um, peak from pop. On the other hand, so what if this logic is in the pop function and then call um, pop from um, peak function? So in that case, so in the pop function in the end, so output will be changed, right? Because uh, we pop the number from the last. So in that case, so this output minus one will be changed, right? So that's why uh, we can't call pop from peak. So like this. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the time complexity of each function should be um, init is O1, push is O1, and the pop is ON. So where n is a number of data we have because uh, we iterate through input stack here. And then peak also on and empty is o1. And the space complexity is I think on um, because uh, we have uh, input output stack. So uh, n is a number of data we have. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Um, so please support me with your actions such as comment or hitting like button. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next question.